Okay, differentiating trig functions are really quite straightforward. You just got to remember what goes to what. Um, so this one's going to be quite a quick video, I think. So first of all, if y equals sine x, then you can differentiate y and get cos x. If y equals cos x, dy by dx is minus sine x. And if you differentiate tan x, you get sec squared x. All of those are on your formula sheet. Okay, so let's see how to do this. For example, y equals cos of 5x. We will use the chain rule. So du by dx is 5, dy by du minus sine u. dy by dx will then be those two multiplied together. So we get minus 5 sine 5x. And when you've practiced a few of these, you'll be able to do them very quickly in your head. Okay, so y equals sine of 2x to the 4 plus 6. So dy by dx is, if u is going to be that 2x to the 4 plus 6, we need to differentiate it. So that's 8x cubed. And then we times it by the derivative of the sine part of the function, which is cos. Okay, y equals e to the sine x over tan x. I'm going to get a little complicated here. So u equals sine x, v equals tan x, and we're going to use the quotient rule. So du by dx, you looked at uh, how to differentiate e in the last video, so this is now differentiate the sine x that's in the exponent and multiply it by the original e part, so that's cos x e to the sine x. And if you differentiate tan x, you get sec squared x. So now dy by dx, using the quotient rule, is the following. So this is v du by dx minus u dv by dx all over v squared. And that can simplify a little. I'm not going to work through the whole simplification. You can do that a bit for fun and check that I'm right. So this simplifies to the following. And that's as far as we're going to go with that one. So all you need to remember is those things in the red box there, what differentiates to what, and then the rest of it is just applying rules that you've already practiced, like quotient rule, chain rule, product rule, differentiating logs and ease, all simple stuff.